Welcome Capricorns. Welcome Capricorns. This is your season, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome, welcome, welcome. So Capricorns, what is going on? This is the Capricorn seasons. I want to say thank you so much for coming in so we can look at the season together, Capricorn. All right, your season of abundance of financial and prosperity. Um, your season begins from the 22nd until the 19th of January. I want to say thank you for being here. Thank you for being back. Let's go in and see what is happening and transpiring. Remember how this works. You have to choose a symbol, what you're looking for, what you want to know. Um, and choose the symbol in order to um, get these readings. You have to use the link uh, and uh, um, in order to find out what is on the, the symbols. You can only choose one symbol, whatever the issue um, that is happening in your life. Uh, choose a symbol, okay? If there is worries, uh, choose a symbol and you will get there. If you have a boss that is a Quarian, Gemini or Libran, choose a symbol. If you're worried about your um, position moving forward, choose the ring, that sort of a situation, okay? So um, how it works is that uh, you choose the symbol with a card that affects you the most, okay? You can look at it once or twice, however way, it's up to you what you want to do, okay? And uh, this symbol will guide you in this period and push you in the right direction forward. And this is going to be good. So, ladies and gentlemen, before I do, let's get in and let's see what exactly is happening in transpiring. So, um, uh, this period is wonderful. Um, Capricorns, you begin your period with a nine of cups. So, for the Capricorns that was born uh 22 until 25th or that week um it is going to be wonderful a lot of you are going to be receiving what it is that you want your wishes and dreams is going to be there for you now what i saw in this energy is two nines together okay so what it's saying your wishes and dreams is going to be coming true so stop with the worries a new offer is going to be coming in for some of you and whoever that was dealing with a Aquarian, Gemini, or Libra, I see some changes is coming up for this person. So this is really clear cut what is happening and transpiring. Um, this is understandable um, issues and situation that is transpiring for you Capricorns in your Capricorn season. So what is going to be happening? Happiness and joy, um, something that you have always wanted is going to be um coming in so let's look at the shoes so the energy of the shoes is about multiple opportunities so if you are in business or you're someone who has your financial flow, um, 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 flow coming in multiple direction you're going to be opening up doors is as if your angels and guides is going to be opening up doors of opportunity starting your zodiac year on such a positive note with the energy of the nine of cup is really powerful um capricorns and uh, whoever that was going to whatever issues problem worries it's going to be over and i see a new offer is going to be coming in so let's say that some of you your contract has ended or is going to be ended in january worries about your contract that sort of a thing um it's going to be working out okay so let's adjust this reading and look at the first energy the first energy is the shoes with a nine of cups this is a very positive energy for any person to start their zodiac season with especially when it comes up to abundance prosperity and money and why this is um Nine of Cups is always about something that you were open wishing for. So um, some of you could be open wishing for a new job, a new promotion, a office, um, a car from the office or starting your own business. However, whatever it is, this year, this zodiac year that you're about to start because this is your solar year. So again, 
for people who were born the 21st, 22nd, 23rd, 24th, 25th, 26th, 27th, is going to be having a powerful, powerful, happy, happy year because you can see all of the energy that is coming in because this is the frequency of your wishes and dreams and your abundance. So this year is going to be better than 2020 because you're leaving that sort of a frequency coming in this new year and you're going to be healing um, your materialistic frequency and wealth. And if last year, last year it was out of walk, you're going to be bringing it back to balance in this year. So this is going to be powerful. There's no question about it. So, um, you know, congratulations to those group of people who were born um, in the week of the 22nd, because what is going to be transpiring is that your zodiac here is saying, hey, I am going to be good at this in this year. Um, you know, the obstacles that may come with my financial stability, I'm going to be able to overcome these obstacles and I'm going to be pushing forward in a very happy, positive way. So um, good for you guys. This is going to be powerful. So if this is uh, your birthday year and you, you can choose um, this energy of the shoes, uh, um, and if uh, this is the week of your birthday, you can choose also the energy of the shoes because that is going to be exhilarating you and aligning you. OK, now um, then we have 28, 29, 30, 31, 1, 2. For the people who were born on the 28th to, to the 2nd of uh, January, the 28th to the 2nd of January, you have the energy of the ring. So whatever the message under the ring is, is going to be telling you what direction to move in, okay, when it comes on to your financial stability. So if you were born 28th to the 2nd of January, that is going to be telling you where and what and what it is you need to do in order to keep the flow of your materialistic frequency on the upright uh, moving forward. And this is going to be absolutely, absolutely fabulous. So whether you're in business, whether it's your career, whether it's how to get money to do a study and that sort of a thing, it, it's the information on the ring is going to be advising the people who were born 28th to the 2nd of January how to move forward in a very, very positive way and not worrying. For you people between the ages of 28th of January and the 2nd, and some sort of a changes is going to be happening. So expect that some sort of an ending, some sort of a changes. The nine is about endings, new beginning. Information is going to be coming in. Your psyche could be getting higher. And whenever the hole is in a reading, you can see the psychic. A lot of you could be having psychic dream. A lot of you could, third eyes could be open. A lot of you um, could be going behind the veil and seeing things. So this is the second group of uh, Capricorns that is going to be feeling um, the ship of energies. And this is going to be bringing a lot of worries a lot of sleepless nights over your financial stability, but you got to choose the energy of the ring in order to know what is going to be affecting you and how this flow is going to be helping you and how you're going to be creating your wealth in this year. OK, so be aware of this. This is your season Capricorns. So let's move to the rose. The rose is for the people who were born and the third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seven, eight and nine. So the rose is for the people who were born on, on the 3rd of January till the 9th of January. Now, what is happening to these people and what is transpired? If you were born the 3rd of January to the 9th of January, um, we are going to be exploring your world in order to see what is coming up and what is going to be transpiring for you. As we explore your world and realizing um, what is transpiring is that you're going to be receiving new offers. Okay. So let's say that you have a job, but you were thinking about changing career, changing your position, 
looking for a higher position. I see the world is now open. I see multiple opportunities is open. I see a lot of you are thinking to expand your horizon and this is going to be good in this year. So go for it. Push yourself. Spend your horizon. Open up. Understand where you are, what is transpiring and create your world for yourself. So this, this, this is so good. This is a powerful energy that is saying to you, Hey, the world is your oyster. Go for it this year because you're going to be successful in any business, financial career, wealth and money. The world is your oyster this year. So it's a powerful energy. Go for it and understand who you are and what is happening and transpiring. And you're going to be alive and ready to understand what is transpiring and knowing that you are going to be um, doing the best you can. The world is your oyster. Take it, run with it this year. Um, this is the beginning of your new solar year. And you have the energy of the roses with the roses. You're all of your, your, the world is your oyster. So this is going to be a very powerful shift of energy when it comes on to your frequency of your money, your financial, your abundance and well, this frequency is open up where the world is saying, Hey, go out there and create your empire because you have what it takes to do that. So you are real Capricorns. Um, real, real Capricorns, and you are going to be standing and working um, to create your um, possibility and create your energy. So this is going to be good. All right. So we're moving on um, to um, the last energy for the Capricorns who are born 10, 11, 12, 1, 2, 3, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. So the Capricorns who were born on the 10 to the 16th, you are dealing with a situation where you're seeing your frequencies coming in. And um, you are, are moving out of the Capricorn season. And some of you um, who have a boss or a supervisor, um, Anyone who was born the 10, between the 10 and the 16, that as a boss or a supervisor, I see changes between you and this person is coming up. Okay. So in order to find out what is the changes between you and this person, um, you have to choose number five because whatever the relationship between you and your boss or you and this, uh, um, employee or employer, uh, that is a Aquarian, Gemini or Libra. I see changes is coming up. If you're a lawyer, changes is coming up. In order to find out what is the changes and how it's going to be affecting you, you have to choose this number five symbol. So if you're a lawyer or a doctor, changes is coming up for you. If your boss is a Aquarian, Gemini or Libran, changes is coming up for you. So there's no question about it. Now, this last energy is from for people who were born the 10th until the 19th. So um, you guys are on the cups of Aquarian. So you could be also using the frequency where you're leaving the Capricorn energy and moving in the frequency of the Aquarians. And you're going to be using um, the Aquarians energy in order to cut through whatever problem that is going to be creating um, with your materialistic stability. So this is going to be absolutely wonderful. A wonderful alignment of energy and frequency is going to be coming up where transition is going to be taking place and you're going to be aligning with the correct energies. So it's as if you're going to be using your sword of truth in this year to cut through any blockages, any, um, obstacles, any challenges uh, using your, your the, the flow of your energy. But what I see is that some of you are going to be using it in the wrong way because this queen of swords is in the reverse. Now, whenever the queen of swords is in the reverse, this is looking like some sort of a corruptcy or some sort of a corrupt uh, lawyer, doctor, eye profession person. Um, because of something that you have done, it's coming out 
and it's going to be affecting your financial flow in this year so be aware of this ladies and gentlemen because this is your solar year so it could have been something that i professional people have done because the sort of uh, uh the, the the queen of swords is in the reverse so that, that there is really something that is happening and transpiring um what is making this changes so be aligned and aware um so use this um five because if you notice how the five is changes it's not that there is going to be changes coming up no there is changes that is going to be happening in your abundance financial flow so um it could be a situation where um especially for lawyers and doctors is going to be hitting you um where your materialistic wealth and stability is going to be changing um in this solar year so be aware of this because um it is already giving you the message of what is going to be taking place and what is going to be transpiring in your world because changes is going to be coming up in your materialistic stability and the flow that you're going through i do love you guys and if this was your first time please remember to like share um, these videos thumbs up if you can't leave a message but come back and um, look at uh, um, what is going to be coming up for you congratulations to the cups capricorns in the beginning um, your frequency and energy is here i gotta say namaste until next time <laughs>